I'm John Stossel, and welcome to 2020's webcast. Here's a warning I bet you've heard over and over. The world is running out of oil. Maybe it helps explain pump prices cruising past three bucks, or does it? Or maybe it's just another media myth. Is there more oil out there than all those chicken littles say? There's a vast supply of oil just 500 miles north in Canada. The tar sands of Alberta alone contain enough hydrocarbon to fuel the entire planet for over a hundred years. What's he talking about? This is what the Canadian tar sands looks like. It's a Florida-sized patch of this disgusting stuff. Sand and rock mixed with oil. Lots of it. We're talking trillions of barrels. The whole planet from Alberta for about a century. Peter Huber, co-author of The Bottomless Well, says people think we're running out of oil because we're running out of cheap oil, the kind that's found in the Middle East, already liquid, clean, and ready to refine. It's very cheap to get that oil out of the ground, so of course that's where people go first. They can pull it out of the ground for five bucks a barrel, less. It costs three times as much to get oil out of these tar sands because they have to add hot water to the sand to separate the oil. But now that oil's expensive and likely to stay that way, companies find it profitable to do this. Clive Mather, who runs Shell in Canada, says the Earth's supply of hydrocarbons is almost infinite. And those are not running out. In fact, we've ha hardly started to develop them. The planet contains huge amounts of buried hydrocarbons. The question is, can you get them out? At what price? But so why are we hearing all this stuff about running out? It's nothing new. People have been saying this for 150 years. They sure have. So-called experts say things like, we're going to become a dying civilization. We will see the extinction of Homo sapiens. People are always saying that about it can be Ebola, it can be flu, global warming. Sometimes uh, they're right, usually they're wrong, and they've been saying it about oil for a long time. They sure have. And joining us now from Washington is Peter Huber, co-author of The Bottomless Well, The Twilight of Fuel, The Virtue of Waste, and why we will never run out of oil. So, Peter, with that title, how, how come we keep having oil when all the experts say it's going to be gone by now? Well, the planet is bigger than uh, a lot of people uh, believe, I guess. Um, yeah, you know, we, we're accustomed to these pictures from outer space and this tiny little jewel of a planet. It looks like a teardrop out there. But it's a very big planet, and we've barely begun to scratch the surface. But it is a finite resource. Sure, sure. And the fun is a, a, a finite resource as well. You know, the solar system is a finite resource, but we're not about to collide with the limits. So, you know, if, you're, if we're quibbling about definitional things, finite versus infinite, sure, it's finite. The sun is finite too. Are we worried about running out of solar energy anytime soon? No, but you talk about Alberta, Canada maybe providing enough energy for the next hundred years. Then what? Look, a hundred years from now, the, the one thing I'm sure of is that things will be very different from uh, how they are today. The, the planet has a lot beyond uh, buried hydrocarbons. Uh, we have huge amounts of nuclear fuel. There are uh, gigantic, huge amounts of frozen uh, gases. Uh, the, the hydrates are, are just off the coast of most continents. I mean, uh, enormous supplies. Ask me a thousand years, I'm even less sure of what the technology will be doing, but I, I, I'm quite sure it won't, we won't be driving uh, sort of uh, 19 or 2006 SUVs a uh, hundred years from now or a thousand. So in terms of oil, the issue is really just price. And at these high prices, it's profitable to suck it out of all kinds of new places. Well, it's price, it's technology, it's, uh, there are environmental concerns, there are political concerns. Uh, Saudi Arabia can pump oil today for well under $5 a, a, a barrel. That's about a, a dime a, a gallon, of what they're just pumping crude out. Um, is that the only cost involved? No, of course not. You have to have refineries. If a hurricane sweeps through our, our, our refinery area on the, on the Gulf Coast, that, that's an issue. Uh, if war breaks out in the Mideast, that's an issue. If somebody begins tossing nukes around the Mideast, that'll be a very big issue. Forget $100 oil. We could see $500 oil if things get bad enough. But, but is the planet going to put a stop to this? No, not, not, and not in our lifetimes, not in our grandchildren's lifetimes. Thank you very much, Peter Huber. Myths, Lies, and Downright Stupidity. My new book got its start right here at 2020. The research we did for 2020 stories became the basis for the book. This is one of those stories. Mm -hmm.